Greetings, signs, and moons, and of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your viewerships, the confirmations that you send me through email, the positive energy that you show me, the positive energy that you show yourself, the positive way you show up on this planet. We're going to go ahead and get into this reading. However, before I turned on the camera, I heard you got the right one, baby. I also heard I'm here for a fun time. Not a long time type shit. You know, that energy harvesting. But what I would like to let individuals know, you know, I got to reiterate this. I did a podcast about it about two or three years ago. It ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. You see, when you go to that altar and you're crying, all right, and your ancestors is tired, and they just like, just say the word, just say the word. Shit start happening. Let's see. Mmm, shit. Whew. This a shitty situation. Let's go ahead and go. Somebody is underwater. Somebody feel like they drowning. They searching, they reaching, reaching, reaching for a limb. A limb they could pull on, honey. Let's get into it. Yeah. Somebody giving you the silent treatment. Mm -hmm. A little bit of narcissistic abuse here. You know, there's so many different types. I'm hearing covert, covert narcissist. Oh, shit. Is somebody crying? Is somebody crying over a, a lost opportunity? Or Ace of Cups? Yeah, that's what I feel like. What else do we need to know? Universal Life Force Source. Show me what it is. I need somebody crying. Over a dead end situation. Shit is dropping out the sky like hot flies on shit. Oh, yeah, it's about to be one of them. Ten of Cups. Oh, shit, it was a wish fulfillment. This is about family, huh? Hmm. Family is energy. So we have all these people that want to be alchemists, they want to be magicians. And they, they experience span on leeching on the people's spine and tapping into their energy. Now, these would be, you know, them, them egotistical, prideful motherfuckers, right? They want you to give to them, but they don't want to give you absolutely nothing, right? I'm hearing because they're used to dealing with low lives. Now, that low life could be a woman or a man. See, when I say low lives, I'm talking about people that are just all surface, shallow type of motherfuckers, you know. They go by what they see, you know. They see a star, okay, whether if you're male or female, and they see that you, they feel you vulnerable, right? But you see, they don't know that this is, you're naked before God, right? You're naked before universal life or source, Right, and they want to pull on that. You know, we've been talking about that. You know, this is a uh, a channel where we have we tend to have that narcissistic empath dynamic. Ooh, message from Earth. So this is definitely about your spiritual gifts. Let me tell you, some of you you into the arts. Okay, you could be an excellent communicator. Excellent is what I'm hearing. Okay, you tapped in. All right. Some of you, you tapped into your soul tribe. That soul tribe could be online readers, people that are helping you to tap into your gifts. All right. But there's some jealousy here. Let's see. You can show me what it is I need to see. Somebody held back communication. They hold them back, right? I'm here because of embarrassment. The four of wands wanted to come out, which in this deck is about your ancestors, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We got that high priest energy for sure. This is a masculine. Yes, you could be a female watching this and being this energy, but they highlighting this masculine here. Okay, I'm hearing shapeshifter. Okay, I'm also hearing this person was told, born by their ancestors. This person could have went to the crossroads uh, yesterday. Okay. You know, this is a timeless reading. So, you know, for me, the crossroads, you know, people go to them crossroads on a Monday. Right. I keep hearing covert narcissists. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I did a reading yesterday that was off camera. Right. And it was shocking to me because this card came out with the devil clarified by the devil. Right. So people got to remember, people got to remember. Right. The devil is an immortal. 
But see, we're dealing with somebody that's cold-blooded. Somebody, you know what I'm saying? Somebody, you know, they so loyal, they loyal to a default. They loyal to uh, destruction, destructive people. They feel like they have something that they have to prove here, right? This is why God's taking universal life force source. It's taking this person's gifts and everything that they have. You see, they use and abuse the wrong individuals. Message from earth. I mean, message from air. Message from earth. <laughs> message from earth. Yeah, somebody wanted to sacrifice you for abundance here. This person could be in the public eye, a musician. I'm hearing a poet. Uh, you know, somebody that's into the arts. Oh, yeah. Somebody moving away. I feel like you moved away from this person. This cold-blooded individual, right? So how I see this, you got people from your past coming towards you, right? And you leaving that ass in the dust and they don't like it, right? Because these are individuals that feel like because they are of a certain status that people should chase them. But they don't realize that the people that's chasing them is zombies. They're soulless beings, right? You moved away because your ultimate, your ultimate goal is to heal. You could be a healer, right? Yeah, that's that. This that I'm tired of running type shit. I'm tired of. I'm telling you, they they work. See, they justice will be served. And is that the major arcanas do not go uh, belong upside down? But let me tell you here, this is somebody that did you an injustice. All right, this could be a divine divine counterpart. This could be somebody that you were supposed to complete something with, work with. But instead of them working with you, they work against you because this is somebody who uh, who ego is definitely in the way. Y'all, y'all should see these notifications going off over here. Uh huh. Yeah, they they want to know why they can't end you, right? But so you know, here we have Yansa. We got the graveyard witch. You know, she always got to pop out. Rear her ugly head. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm hearing is this person right here is on their deathbed. They deaf, deaf, dumb, and blind and crazy from all the spell work. All right. This person is getting spiritually attacked from multiple people. All right. Because see, some of y'all don't think that you have these divine gifts, but I'm here to tell you you are. This is somebody that purposely provokes you. Okay. Yeah, look at this. We got the high priestess. They wanted to catch this high priestess off guard. See, they wanted to suck on your nipple. See, this is all about this emperor, who is a false emperor, by the way, because they're uh, tapping into other people's energy, stealing, right? That's why this person is sick also. Mm -hmm. So be mindful if you're a reader. I, I don't care if you read on a public platform or if you read at home. If you didn't tap, if you didn't, if you didn't click on these readers and you didn't left comments not knowing, uh, you know, you got watchers, you got people watching to see. Right. They, they, they want to see if you know how to protect yourself. It's endings happening. Somebody made a petition. For sure they did. For sure they did. And that petition caused a tower moment. People started running and scattering like fires. Let me tell you what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that when they did this petition, when they went to the crossroads, it triggered something in their own environment. OK, uh, they're showing me darkness, like clouds and darkness. These are people that continuously send illusions your way. See, I did a reading the other day that said no more Mr. and Mrs. Nice Guy, right? Some of you tapped into that reading. When you tapped into that reading, you tapped into your divinity because let me tell you what happened. Shit started transforming all around you. You started seeing people for who and what they were. I got an inter interesting email and I do appreciate you for that email. I didn't get a chance to respond, but I read it. I read it. Right. Shout out to the Gemini Cancer Cuss. See, you don't you don't know how magical you are because people have been leeching off of your energy. OK, children's fathers, mothers, brothers, whoever take it, how it resonates. Yeah. Projecting distorted energy rumors started by jealous people. Slander. Huh? So you got this Ace of Cups, somebody that you loved. Right. That lied or participating in a lie to cover up a lie, and they're going to go to their grave with that lie. For sure they is, especially if they keep tapping into your energy. See, because you can see clearly. Some of you, you could be seers. You could use divination tools. You may have a crystal ball. Some of you, when you touch these crystals, things are activated within you. Yeah, I'm hearing crystalline. Some of you, you know, you tapped into that crystal's energy. Ten of cups. Ten of cups. See, people don't like it, right? Yeah, ten of cups. Ten of Cups. We got somebody that want to hide the fact that they into the same sex. They don't like the fact that you know that. 
All right. Whoever this cold blooded high priest is, Ten of Cups. What about this Ten of Cups? We need to know this family situation. These people, mm hmm. They didn't went to them crossroads. I'm trying to tell you, huh? Huh? They're getting an the ego check right here, right now. Right? So they fearful because you know that they take it in the butt. What? Right? Yeah, that's what she said. So they went and, you know, they got family members and friends. And, let me say fake family members, right? These are these are ops. These are energy vampires, right? They think they have a secret alliance with these people, but they not. They don't. Because if they did, they would be helping this person to do the right thing. But see, they're so trapped up in that materialism, right? Tricking people. They're so used to doing sex magic, pulling on a yanker and all of that to get who and what they want. That they feel like they can't have you unless they do this, right? And for some of you, the cold part about it is this is somebody that you have genuine love for. Yeah, uh-huh. Somebody gets kicked. Did you woo up somebody ass? You woo up somebody ass out of that out of, out, out of that energy? I'm telling you, somebody got their ass whooped. Whenever they <laughs> they ain't gonna tell you. But whenever they did that little shit they did over the full moon, then they, they tried to double it up and go to the crossroads, and they got their ass whooped at the crossroads. This person ain't got no spiritual protection, and they know it. Yeah. When they tapped into your energy, they started getting all kind of notices and shit. Okay? Somebody is, is, is fraudulent. Whoever was doing fraudulent work. I'm hearing that their bank accounts got seized. Somebody's on the run from child support. This is also a drug addict. These are people that's not going to show their face because if you show they, if they show their face, they look drained. You know why? Because you've been taking that energy back. This is definitely somebody, an older gentleman for some of you. Yes, it could be a female involved, but what's highlighted here is possibly a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, masculine that wants to hide the fact that they're gay, right? That they're full of games. This is somebody I'm hearing 30 or over because, you know, this is my 50s card. 50 and still sexy. So, yeah, there's a female here. Or they only deal with females that are in aromatic states, people that they could tap into, right? And the cold part about it, these, these are individuals in competition. You got men and women in competition with a trisexual. What is a trisexual? Somebody that's going to try anything. They're going to stick they, they, they panker in a hole. They're going to stick it in a sock. They're going to stick it in a fish. They don't really care, right? This is somebody that's stuck in their south node. They deal with multiple people be, uh, that have the same type of energy because this is somebody that doesn't learn a lesson, right? This energy vampire is dying because they, they look. Yeah. They gambled with the wrong one. For some of you, it's a friend or a family member, right? You told some sort of secret about this person, okay? Something that happened in the past, some deep, dark shit that they thought nobody knew. Yeah. This is somebody that's been working on you, trying to keep you single, trying to stop up your money, not realizing that they're stopping up their own shit, right? I mean, I keep hearing covert narcissists. Look at this. Distorted energy. No clear direction. Tapping into the wrong information. Let me just tell you, like, if somebody, if you're dealing with a high priest or high priest, priestess, anytime you do a reading on this person, especially if you're in distorted energy, they're going to be wrong. You know why? Because it's a setup. These are individuals do not, that do not know universal laws. They don't obey spiritual laws. They don't obey physical laws. This is just a bully. This is a spiritual bully. All right? This is somebody that you disconnected from because they're full of trauma. They refuse to learn their lesson. They have family members and friends that don't like them. Right. But they feel that they have to please these people because this is somebody that's not ascended. And of course, this will be somebody that's matter of fact. They know all they know everything. They know everything. Right. They know everything, but they don't know God. They don't know that you're, they're dealing with an immortal being, somebody that's tapped in. An earth angel, an elect one, a chosen one. Take it how it resonates. Salamanders. You know this person is cold-blooded. They know their family is cold-blooded. They don't like the fact that you passed on that ass. You could, you tapped into that energy now. You're stronger than yesterday. You know good things are coming for you, right? They failed the test miserably, and their energy is being drained. So this is somebody that feels like they look good. I look good. Look at me. Look at all these whores that want my attention. 
you got to want my attention. But you tapping into this person's energy, though. You want to be seen by this person. They want us to be seen by you. They want you to lust after them like these zombies do, honey. It's not going to happen. You the one that got away. Rejection for your protection. And, and let me just say this. This rejection for your protection is for this person that's tapping into your energy. Mm -hmm. Because if you sleep next to this person, you might cause this person to have a heart attack. They know it. See, yeah. See, you on that energy of once you sleep with somebody, whether if it's in the bed or if you physically having sex with them, you know their whole damn history. You don't have to be a reader. This is just something that happens and it's been happening to you uh, naturally for years. This is why some of you were in an addiction state. This is why some of you didn't have any money. You know what I noticed? And what I what I knew what I knew early early on in my spiritual you know on my spiritual journey when you got a low down dirty motherfucker right you know and you don't know how to protect yourself from this person because you don't really know what love is because you've been around a whole bunch of narcissistic people and energy vampires they prey on that they prey on the fact that you know they done did magic on your ass for years right and you know. They know that you ain't got nobody in your life. And if they, if you do have somebody in your life, they just as nasty as they was because they're projecting their energy on you. Right? So you got this bitter person that, you know, they're mad because you passed on their ass. Could be a male or a female, right? You know, they control everything and everyone around them but you. This is somebody that hates and loves you. The weird part about it, this is somebody that's actually into men. This could be a child's father or this could be somebody that you don't know. Mm -hmm. They have fantasies about other men. So if you were to sleep with this person or sleep around this person, you would pick up on that energy quick. Why is Shango here in reverse? They lied. They lied to you. And it, when they lied to you, shit started trickling down. I'm here. Somebody even got fired. What is this, Shango? Yeah, we got a Libra here. Libra energy. Somebody, Libra sun, possibly. If it's not a Libra, this is a liar. Okay? This is a Libra in a low vibration. Somebody that use their body, okay, as, as a weapon. This is somebody that's very lustful. This could also be somebody that may have uh, gotten a divorce here. For some of you, this is a this is the high priest. This is a masculine that this is happening to. They're not really tapped in because they still in that lustful energy. They deal with strippers. They deal with escorts. They deal with people that you know show their body. This person is realizing now that they can't get a sufficient supply from this person. This is somebody that chose to walk a different path. They did not want to walk with God because they didn't have all these years of experience of uh, energy harvesting off of people. They figure, why work, work, why work for God? I'm a God. I'm the devil, right? This is somebody that didn't use their sixth sense. Uh, especially if they dealt with a stripper, because I feel like this person right here may have gotten some sort of disease here. And they could have also been catfished, all right? The cat trick they had, right? So whoever this is that lied and participated in lie, whether it's family, friends, or people that you do not know, they in it for about 12 years, 12 years of destruction. Eight of Earth. What do we need to know about this Eight of Earth? Yeah, this person was guided by the elders, right, to stop what they were doing. But they, yeah, they didn't stop because this person is empty. They empty. See, the sex used to be good when it was nasty and, and child, the, the visions I'm getting. The sex used to be good for this person when they was tapped into your energy, right? They would go and they would manifest with other people off of your energy. And they just became real arrogant, right? So they put that work in. They did that sex magic, that candle magic, that root work, you know. This new moon that went right back to their ass. I'm trying to tell you now they full of burdens. They had a loss because shit is just dropping like flies. People, all kind of opportunities is leaving from this person. Ten of fire. Ten of fire. Mm-hmm. 
all these different people, they realize that all these people is the ops. <laughs> yeah, them dominions, the angels came down and said, uh, we're going to restore this balance here. All right. Either you are an ascendant master, some sort of teacher, spiritual leader. OK, you, you I'm hearing above the rest. OK, that's not going to be for everybody. You are you tapped in to them dominion angels. OK, you ask for help, mercy, mercy. I'm also here. May God have mercy on their soul. Yeah, because they put all these. It was funny. It was funny when they was doing it on the under. It's not no more. Yeah. But yeah. But yeah. Somebody realizing that they cheering. You know, they children, you know, how the hell you going to try to teach your children to do the right thing when they when, when you ain't doing the right thing? It's like it's in their blood. It's in their it's in their blood. So, yeah, the children going to be just as evil as this person is. They could also do some sort of spell or incantation on your children. Now it's happening to them. Uh huh. This person realized shit. I all got all these burdens. <laughs> Love is stronger than hate. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We see you dealing with somebody that thought lust was love. They thought people lusting after them was love. So you can shine the light on this energy vampire. Most definitely. Yeah. Now they gang stalking you. This person could be in a gang or some sort of code or coven. Okay. They could have sent a group of people after you to all them people going down to, or are they all experiencing some sort of hardship? Yeah. Because you know how to protect yourself now. All right. This is somebody that thought royalty was, <laughs> I heard royalty by default, was outer appearance. This is somebody that liked to be flashy. You know, you know, demons and, and they like shiny shit. You know, they ain't going to go after you unless you're shiny because they think that's, you know, that's a sign of divinity. Not on new earth, baby. Not on new earth. So I continue to, I, I tell you to continue to keep sending all that, uh, negative energy back. I, I literally see somebody's eyes going black. See, now you messing with somebody that's tapped in, okay? They got the ability to come from love or hate. Now, when this person comes from that hate standpoint, don't be mad. I'll tell you later.